Hello and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. We're heading toward the crash ship. Uh, and we see a bunch of uh, mushroom trees on the way. And uh, pff, probably gonna get attacked. But the biggest question is, what the hell are we gonna do with the weapons? Uh, once we found it. Is it possible to throw over the Iconoclast leadership and would Sanja defend the people? Okay, this lab. Crap. This thing is fast. Do the jiggle. Sure. Oh my god, that's a pretty good hammer. Oh, not, not a super good hammer. Maybe, maybe Parvati can use a hammer like that. I don't think it affects her skill at all, but... Why not? It would be damn tricky to kill some beasts with melee weapons. It's kind of pointless. Okay. So what is this place? Targeting module. Also, I kind of want to use the slow time a little bit more. Apparently it can do things. But... I didn't find it that super reliable. Well, apparently I applied some status on that thing, but it's gonna die. Probably apply it in the... Yeah. I think that taken out. I'm about to die. I'm getting killed by a dino. So, we'll experiment a little bit with that. Okay. Let's take the hide. Whoa, what? Okay, so... Not straight ahead. We have to go around. Okay, this is a good experiment. Blind. I'm not gonna stay by by for long. Yeah. Oh, that hurt. Oh, raptophobia. Repeatedly, repeated encounters with raptodons have lessened your effectiveness when they are attacking you or your companions. Should we pick this up? It's just only raptors. Let's do it. That's fine, let's do it. And I get a perk. But what should be my perk? I actually thought about this a little bit between the videos. I have no fucking clue. Uh, none of this seems to be good. Maybe what I'm thinking that maybe few bits more is gonna be interesting. So additional ammo stock on vendors, additional consumer and general stock. Like, what is that general stock? Is that, like, better gear? Actually better gear? That might be better. That might be interesting. I don't know. I don't know. I think I don't want to pick up the XP. That does seem... That does scream at me, like, Oh my god, pick me up. But it, it seems a little late to do that. But I'm kind of saying that till since then, like, level 12. Uh, also, we can just go for a, a little bit more TTD. This could be completely worthless, a few bits more. I don't know. But there's nothing here that's any good. Or at least... Would really help me. So, maybe a few bits more. Let's see what kind of effect it has. If any.
Wait a second. Did the Raptodons already break in? Or was it just a crash? Sulfur pits? I'll keep an eye on things out here. What? Yeah, uh, me too. You have fun, Captain. What? Get the hell in Sorry, here. Sorry, Captain, I can't. Sorry, won't work. Won't work? Wow. Come on, game. Eject, caption, Matsu's command key. Current time is error. Run diagnostic. Uh, gunships operational parameters have exceeded acceptable damage ranges. The cost of any repairs necessary at nearest uh, UDR repair facility will be average amongst the crew. Uh, view logs. See us saying something about the spare regulator, bypass something, something. Uh, Chico Shu. I, I'm, I'm turning this uh, toward the groundbreaker, firing up the engines and retiring. Better to be arrested than lose power and drift out into space. I just hope this old bird can handle one last trip. Behind this law forsaken colony, is it so impossible to requisition parts? In this law forsaken colony. My chief engineer is uh, barking at me to order yet another damn thing, I, and I can't even get a response from corporate. Another day, another ship lands on Terra 1, and we can't shoot them down. <laughs> oh, so these ships were just here for show. That makes a lost count. What's the point of us being here if we can't get some backup? <laughs> That's hilarious. point of having engineers if you don't give them the tools come on standard troop helmet sorry I can't come companions why not? Is it just because it's angled oddly? Or is it because it's gonna be like a ho 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 surprise one on one? What? Targeting module. Pick up Candy Chris, uh, Canada targeting module. Ooh. Okay, we got it. That's it. Give the mo module to Sanja. Give the module to Graham. And that's both optional. Wow. Hi, pusses. We're leaving. I'm just like, staying outside, Captain. Don't worry about it. Come on. We are giving it to Sanja. Come on, this is not even a choice. I I I I have mixed feelings about my first choice about uh helping out the botanical garden. 
Uh, I don't think it worked out as great as I hoped, but it was a pretty make a pretty great choice. And I was, I, I I guess I just didn't know Adelaide well enough. And uh, I do believe the better choice would have been is to, I don't know, go all in on the town maybe, and the botanical garden. That that was the best choice. That was honestly the best choice. Uh, not like the botanical garden needed needed to be like those those uh, devices didn't need to be there to get powered. You know they they could have got powered in the city as well. So that second location is not needed. Botanical garden was a lot uh, uh, a lot more exposed. So marauders and wildlife can hit it a lot easier. I think the the, the town had a better choice, but it was also uh, very, very, uh, uh, rotten. I like, if, if not for the stupid policies and everyone being brainwashed, then it could have been okay. Anyway, uh, let's go to Sanjar and give him the module. And I hope it's not gonna be another one of those situations, because it's, it seems like he's just setting me up for that. Is that is it gonna be another situation like, oh, you had information based on what you made this decision. Well, guess what? I'm totally different person. <laughs> and I got you. So no got you moments, just go with the information I, I, I gathered so far. Because Sanja did seem genuine about who he is. If the iconoclasts reach that ship first. There won't be any chance for a peaceful monarch. I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet. I've sent patrols, but they're running into trouble with the iconoclasts. Uh, give him the targeting module, it's all yours. Could you agree to a truce with the iconoclasts? Yeah, that would be uh, worth uh, pursuing. They're all mad. And what's more, they left us. I don't see any way for us to work together. Come on, Sanjar. I read your review, Sanjar. You can't do this alone. Ugh, not this again. Remember what we practiced, sir. Yes. The words in those reviews were very hurtful, but they do not define me. I am a mantipillar. Oh my my will is my cocoon. I can emerge and become whatever I wish. Oh my god. You're good with details, but you could use someone who sees the big picture. Uh, that's definitely not Graham. You're good with details, but you could use someone who sees the big picture. But that's not Graham. You too? She has a point, sir. And it's not all bad. Supposing you're right. Who exactly would you have me work with? The Iconoclasts are not the most compromising sorts. What about Graham, second in command Zora? Now she's insane. They're both insane. How did things get so bad between you and the Iconoclasts? Oh, uh, how do these things ever start? Once upon a time, Graham and I saw the same problems with MSI. A rigid corporate structure with no regard for its people. But, where I wanted to reform MSI, he only wanted to take it apart. As if starving in the wilderness is somehow better than starving under corporate mismanagement. He won't hear reason now, and I wouldn't trust him again. We can't exactly trust Zora. But, at least, she, she her methods are, are kind of... I, uh, there was like one conversation where Zora really disappointed me. She was suggesting attacking the town, getting resources. But I think that was mainly driven by desperation. I don't know, I'm just trying to make excuses. No, no, no. I, I, can't, I can't really recommend Zora, but let, let's just ask about her. That's an interesting suggestion. I confess I don't know much about her except that she worked for Rizzo. There ain't a body on this planet that can keep a group patched up like she has. I don't know how she does it. I'd be willing to consider it, but I need to see her review first. A review? 
fine. Okay, we're just gonna bring this to the icon class. Fine. Excellent. Her review would be in the Rizzo offices in Cascadia. Bring it to me, and I'll see if she's qualified. Okay, I'm not gonna give you the targeting module right now. According to the ship's logs, they suffered some kind of malfunction. That's surprising. The board's equipment is usually in top shape. After all, they have first access to any fresh parts or components. Actually, they... Their parts were pretty bad. Maybe it's slim pickings for them too. You think so? I always thought scarcities on Monarch were due to our pariah status. Alright, I'll let you know that I made progress. So, we're gonna travel. Convince MSI and the Iconoclast to negotiate. I have this mission. Is it this? Does it, does it show up on the map? I have a mission in Cascadia. I do. So we're gonna jump to Cascadia. And look for her review. This could be interesting. Although it's not necessarily... Uh, well, it's just kind of how she was in the past. But, I don't know. I guess it could be interesting. I don't know. We'll see. Don't mess with us. At, at the very least, she seems to be... Even if her methods are... Uh, very questionable. At least she cares about her people, and uh, right? it would be near impossible to just overthrow both leaders at the same time and convince the iconoclasts to join. So it would be a compromise, clearly. Okay, I didn't check this out. I don't know, I don't want to read that too much. Let's check the vending machine. And we don't have access to more gear here. Which is a little surprising because that's, that's what I chose. General goods. Oh, I think I'm wrong about that perk. It just doubles the amount. Of uh, lame items that I already don't care about. It doesn't really matter. We already have everything and sugar ups helmets. Whatever. We just we don't really have anything good to invest in anyway. Here to assess your progress. Okay, let's go with Zora. And Mechler Cecil. Zora is a top notch sawbones with a good head for working under pressure. She knows how to assimilate a large amounts of detailed information to make quick decisions. Her competence and decisiveness have allowed her to restore more than a few limbs and digits lost to carelessness around the machinery. Recommend for employee of the month. Okay, executive review, Meckler Cecilio. Cecilio's enthusiasm for Rizzo's products is unmatched and he displays an impressive knowledge of company products. He is exactly the kind of worker we need to keep at our storefronts. Do not promote beyond store manager. <laughs> oh man. Return to root. Do not promote beyond store manager. Do a good job. Oh man. Get punished for it.
Sanjar says he's willing to negotiate but only if Graham is replaced as a leader, the obvious alternative is Zora, before Sanjar is willing to negotiate, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we can return to a Sanjar with the data. Actually, we need to head out, right? I can't. I'm near hostiles, apparently. Am I? Not anymore. So, let's go to Stellar Bay. This would include a lot of legwork without fast travel, so I, I, I do give a plus one to fast travel. It would be a little annoying. And it would also it would be pretty annoying to do uh, just focus on one mission at a time without fast travel, so I'm definitely a fan. Sanjar? Any luck bringing the Iconoclast to the bargaining table? Oh yeah. I don't like the idea <laughs> that they'll be trying for that module while we delay. I already got it, but <laughs> I'm keeping it a secret. Give him Zora's review. I found Zora's review here. Very well. I can't promise anything, but let's see what we have here. Well, it seems like she, uh, she's actually very qualified. If it weren't for her, I'd wager the Iconoclast would have died off a while ago. I wasn't expecting to say this, but if you can put her in charge and convince her to agree to a meeting, I'd be willing to discuss terms. Very well. So, we go back. Uh, go for a drink before that. And have a talk with the Iconoclasts. What's up with the long names? Everyone knows that if you want to have like a rebellion, you want to catch a name like, you know, like fuck the board or something like that. Maybe not, maybe not, not like that. But something catchy, you know, something catchy. That's something dumb. So, I can just, uh, talk with Zura, leaving Graham out. Hey, Captain. I need your help, and we ought to keep it hush-hush. You know about what happened here, right? The history of Amber Heights? Fella came through Edgewater once, mentioned something to my dad about pirates wiping out of town. You mean this is the same place? Right. Common belief is that the pirates fled to an old relay station that had already been abandoned, but nobody could find them. The station's locked up, but one of my people found an old data cartridge in a nearby wrap nest. It's mostly corrupted, but I pulled a couple codes off of it. One is the code to the Amber Heights gate. I don't recognize the other, but it's similar. I bet it opens a door. The Amber Heights gate? Right. The access codes to Amber Heights. What gets me is, if this belonged to the pirates, that means they knew someone there. If someone gave them the gate code, all those deaths, Captain, all that blood is on their hands. Why are we keeping this to ourselves? Graham isn't fond of talking about the history here. He had friends who worked here. The massacre hit him pretty hard. You know him. Live and let live and all that. I don't want to burden him right now. Especially if this ends up being a dead end. I don't get what's so important about this. Don't you have bigger problems? Uh, no. Random door code doesn't sound useful. I know it's a long shot, but... If we miss something there, if you can get into that station, maybe we can get some answers. Okay, go to the relay station, see if the code's useful, and guess. Just a warning. The area is infested with mantisaurs. I'd send some help, but we're, you know, preparing for war. Right, I'm on it. Appreciate it. Here's the code. If it works, bring back anything you find. Supplies are best, but information's good too. If someone was behind the Amber Heights massacre, it'd give a lot of people around here some closure to find out who and string them up. Good luck. Watch out for the taros. 
Oh. Are we gonna find that in the sun jar? Because currently, the choice seems... I, I, I'm very much leaning towards Sanjar. But so who knows? Ada isn't really alive, but it... Sorry. Okay, so we got a problem. Wow, that's garbage. Uh, I need to do uh, a little trading session. We can sell this. 600. It's a decent gun. Plasma launcher. Mind control ray. Sounds interesting. Purple berry <coughs> launch. That. I don't know. Do I go with the mind control ray? Fires a continuous beam at targets that override synaptic nerves as well as automatic behavior protocols causing targets to attack their allies instead of enemies, increasing your science skill, improves the movement and attack rate of those controlled. Interesting. It's garbage. Saw that. We don't need that many. This seems decent. Uh, I mostly find guns. Uh, it's kind of trash. Sure. And settle the junk. That's it. Jeez. Can still talk like a person. Can I? Got the glute gun equipped. What about Sam? Never use it. What's it? Sorry. He. Three thousand seven hundred energy bullets. I have a pretty good idea. Uh, where is this secret door? No. No, oh, it's a different mission. Open the seal door. Oh, it's over there. What? Is it? That's not what I expected. I expected it to be this one. I guess we're gonna check it out. And maybe... The best would be overthrowing Zora and uh, Graham, but replace... Then with who? So I think we gotta pick at least one. What if I mind control the Manti Queen? Okay, this is cool. So we can mind control like one big monster. And uh, they might attack it. Okay. Oh, oh, let's done this. Oh, fuck up. much stuff. Pro toss bulb blocker. Alright. No one else here that I can see. Enter code. So this is a pretty small area. I kind of expect more. It's just trash. Yeah, break it down. Hamlock's eye patch. Sneak attack damage 10%. Oh, 
well, it, it weighs nothing. Still, I'm not gonna equip it just for sneak attacks. Talk kits. Um, what is this? The your mandatory armor that you carry with you. At least I do. Yeah. Some money. Got some nimble fingers, Captain. Yeah. Old data cartridge. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh shit. Did I I take I took it. Well whatever. <clears throat> uh messages? Recorder. <clears throat> Tunnels are in, cables are laid, devil's peak is receiving, but we are waiting on signal confirmation from the outpost. This whole place thinks of sulfur. We should, uh, we should have brought masks. I'm sure I heard something in the caverns beneath the tower. Something living there. Here's hoping we don't unsettle it, or else the place, that place ain't gonna be safe for our cable guys. Uh, we got signal from Ember Heights, uh, Stellar Bay and Cascadia. Still working on word from uh, Bayside Terrace and Aurora Ridge. I ought I had a note that I was right about those caverns. They ain't safe. Some kind of, uh, <clears throat> oh, I don't know, the big thing with claws. It ain't animals. I ain't an animal scientist. Can't wait to get the hell out of this rock. Uh, it should be noted that <clears throat> lead engineer Franklin Walkovitz has perished due to a workplace accident involving hostile wildlife in the Devil's Peak Caverns. It should be further noted that uh, Mr. Valkovitz's complaints regarding the dangers of Terra 1 Valdov have been redacted. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so... Gotta die for this uh, damn fool errand, I know it. He said Ember Heights was gonna have more bits than we can spend, but those suited morons up and spent it all of us. Uh, all for us. Books and vases and pretty shit. You can't eat fuck. You can't eat a fucking book. Look at us now. Of all the closets to coop up in and lick our wounds, we had to choose one that's set to lock itself up. Feels like a, feel like a marauder digging up, uh, digging at the walls like this. But we gotta get out before we starve. It ain't possible. But Nelson over there's trying to keep our spirits up, and I I don't got the energy to fight him off. Screw that uh, Brian fella. Eyes bigger than his fucking stomach. Okay, not much information here. Let's break it down. So, return to Zora. Not much information. Can you can we make you a leader, Rose? I think Rose would make a better leader, <laughs> but I don't think we have a choice. We can just uh, start killing the leadership until there is no one left. Can I do that? Just assassinate these two in secret? Not like, hey, who's the leader now? No way. The, the game would not be able to handle that. Most likely, they would just know that I that I assassinated them. Welcome back. You find anything out there? I found a box of data cartridges. Let's see. These are old. Looks like correspondences between the pirates. Some bits here, some there, some... Wait. This... This one's got the Amber Heights gate code on it. Just like the one I found earlier. And here's... A letter. Wait, this is from Graham. Oh, of all the... Captain. He gave them the gate codes. He caused the attack. Yeah. He did. He really did. I know he's got his head in the clouds, but... I always believed there was a core of good there. What the hell happened to live and let live? Look, I need to think plan. Figure out if I should talk to him or shoot him. Or both. 
Just don't give him the module yet. Give me a little time. I'll meet you at his place. Okay. Tap. Uh, what are we doing? Are we going for long guns? Eh, I don't know. Seem to be okay. Last time I tried to lockpick, we could push it up high enough. But well, it was damn close. I can also up the seek and lockpick at the same time if I if I was feeling lazy. But let's just go with the plan of uh, upping long guns. And I get long guns, critical chance, ignore 1% armor. Looks like it's gonna be 300%, so 80% of the time I ignore the armor all the time. And also, of course, crit. Okay, let's do that. So, speak for Phineas. No. Return to the air. On the groundbreaker. Okay, let's talk to Graham. Where are we going, Zora? Go take a walk, Captain. Well, you don't have much time. I'm going to Graham right now. <laughs> Nobody gonna show up. Oh, okay. I went the wrong way. I don't mind that. I'm going to Graham right now, okay? You hear me? Uh, just show up in like 10 seconds. Don't, don't worry about that, boys. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. I'm just uh, <clears throat> a high, end meet, uh, high up meeting. Okay, uh, just good work. So are you coming? Huh? I'm going now. You hear me? I, I, I'm, okay, okay. I, I, I'm going. So, I hope she's gonna show up. And she's gonna be like, oh, oh, hey, I'm here. The gunship. Have you secured its targeting module? Oh, really? Straight to the point. I know you're responsible for the Amber Heights massacre. When I founded the Iconoclasts, I did so amidst the ghosts of this planet's past. Since then, many have asked me, why here? Were you involved in the massacre? Was that some gruesome plot to clear a path for my dreams? My response to you is the same as to all others. The death of MSI was an incidental tragedy. I'd have walked this path with or without it. I don't get it. I don't buy it. They were going to leave this plan, but you killed them anyway. How can you live with you? No, no, no. You, you, you killed them. I did no such thing. Their deaths came in the night while I slept in Stellar Bay. And regardless, we're discussing a past long since left behind. Those ghosts still haunt me. But they needn't curse my people. When the entire colony has embraced our truth, perhaps then the perpetrator will come into the light. Until then... It does us no good to dwell on past mistakes. It would be the best if the Iconocasts were just disbanded. Fine, keep pretending nothing's wrong and that your people are just going to forgive you. Why did they deserve death? I just had to say him for like a uh, um, question or two. If I were the type of man to make that decision, and I assure you I am not, I'd have to be so obsessed with dismantling their regime that I'd turn to desperate measures. That's exactly you are. I've since learned are. that their mistakes will end them in time and that we will persevere where they do not. But back then, suffocating under that oppressive culture, I can understand a lesser man than myself making a terrible, ghastly mistake.
You're avoiding the question. Why did they deserve it? If MSI had abandoned this place and taken to Terra 2, any hope for our salvation would have been lost. Here, without the shackles of the Halcyon board, we are free to grow as the universe intended. Had we fled with MSI, our spirits would have withered. You've seen that withering yourself. The colony is dying. The massacre of Amber Heights, unfortunate as it was, presented the slim possibility of saving the souls of Terra too. Here we are, poised to do just that. Actually, the colony can be great. I found that the information that the oxygen can be just adjusted to a lower value, uh, make making all the hostile wildlife die, and this planet thrive. I'm not sure why I'm explaining myself, or why am I even talking to this person? I, I just kill people for a lot less. You can't play judge, jury, and executioner like that. Free will is a double-edged sword, Captain. The universe judges us all. Whether your choices are helpful or harmful to the cosmos is not up to you. Those executives were found to be poisonous to the spirit of humanity. They were doomed, whether by the hands of man or beast, their time was coming to an end. And here I am, a paragon of the eternal truth, leading a society of like-minded people. The universe has found me worthy, despite whatever sins you believe I've committed. Let us speak no more of this, Captain. We have a message to spread and a colony to save. The gunship. Have you secured its targeting module? Wow. I want to know something before we get to that. All right. Never mind. The gunship. Have you secured its targeting module? Not yet. Would you, do you want to die? So, return to Sanjar with Zora's review data. Okay. This is great. If he can, if I, if he can uh, be discredited, that's a lot better. If I just kill him, then they might even miss him. But if they find out that he's a murderer, and uh, we just dismantle everything he stands for, even though like some of it is totally justified, like wanting freedom. But, uh, yeah, the iconic classes have to go away and they need to integrate into this uh, society. And the society also needs to stay freer than the board would uh, allow it. Any luck bringing the iconic class to the bargaining table? I don't like the idea that they'll be trying for that module while we delay. <laughs> don't worry. I'm trying to convince the Iconoclast to agree to truce. Ooh, that's very good. I wish I could help, but I've never been very good at making presentations. Yeah. I, uh... Ooh, I could work on a brief, if you think it would help your case. Sure, why don't you work on that brief? Excellent! <laughs> Get to it straight away. <laughs> It'll be a few weeks before it's ready, but one can't put a price on quality work. I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet. I've sent patrols, but they're running into trouble with the iconoclasts. Why do you need the targeting module? Well, because the module controls the weapons systems. Right. I mean, why do you need the gunship's weapon systems? Because once we mount them on Stellar Bay's walls, no Marauder or Raptodon will ever be a threat to us again. Stellar Bay will be as secure as any other settlement in Halcyon. I don't see how UDL is going to let you keep their toys. The board's own salvage and recovery clause 32B would say differently. And they won't dare challenge us over this. Not after the data you found on their experiments here. I see. 
Just don't ask me to lug a bunch of cannons from that ship, too. Don't worry. We'll send an engineering team for those later. We'll have to disconnect them from the rest of the ship. Of course, they'll be useless without that targeting module, which is why it's critical that you retrieve it. These weapons sound pretty powerful. I'm just trying to get him to slip up if... if uh, he indeed has uh, different motives. Which is also why we can't let the Iconoclast get them. Seems like your people should be able to handle this. Look, Celia. She's being funny again. I don't think so, sir. Really? Well, I could have sworn... Well, well, that's not important. What is important is that there's a considerable distance between us and that ship. And most of it is inhabited by marauders and raptodons. Yeah, that's pretty treacherous. It is. And that's not saying anything about the sulfur pits, the mantisaurs, the iconoclast rebels... The... Celia? Do we have any pep pills? I'm feeling lightheaded. I'm afraid you finished them going over the sales reports last week. <laughs> oh, well, I suppose you see our predicament. Enough about the gunship. Good, because we haven't a moment to lose. That's not why I came here. I came here... Return to Sanjar with Zora's review data. So maybe we can go back to Zora now, and she's willing to. Uh, apparently, I needed to give her time, which I didn't take too seriously. But apparently, just she just didn't show up. <laughs> so she was taking it seriously. Come on! Oh, now they are together, or it seems like it. Like she's not camping in this house. Oh, to talk to me. Captain, we should chat. Graham's got the right idea, but he isn't the right guy to execute it. I don't even think he's motivated by philosophism anymore. I think he's just guilt-ridden. I can't believe I'm even saying this, but I keep going over and over it in my head. And the only way I see the Iconoclast surviving is we depose him. I think this credit would be better. And you would run it in his stead? I think it should be just... Uh, well, Iconoclast should just go away. That was Graham's idea. You would, you should just... Maybe, or maybe someone else should go for something else. Maybe, maybe instead of just having the Iconoclast, you can just really unite with the city and just, just try to make it as free as possible, so. Instead of just this uh, dumb playing rebels in the, in the countryside thing uh, and starving to death. But you can truly have a free society. With compromises, of course, you know. <clears throat> I'm with you there. Uh, let's go talk to him. I understand that, you know, that Graham wants to make big changes. He wants to change everything. But I, I don't think that's super realistic. I think they should just focus on this community. Can they make this community work? Because I think that would be so much better. That would speak so much better because if they can make a community work, like that, then that would be a huge threat to the board. You, they could see that, you know, people would just have a big example of like, this works, and everyone would want it. Like, people are just suffering, people are just like, uh, dying in, in uh, well, getting, uh, well, dying in bureaucracy and just how the system is. But with just a bunch of rebels hiding in the, in the in the countryside, just like, hey, you should rise up. I think I'm not gonna take that too seriously. But if there's like a big city, like a country, an entire planet, 
working in a different and a better way. Now that's something. Now that's that's real. I'm with you there. Uh and you would run it in his stead? Yeah. Hell most of our people listen to me already. Isn't this going against the fill office? Oh my god, I'm not perceptive. The iconoclast may take your orders, but most of them believe in him and his teachings. And what's next? What will you do when you're in charge? I might have to kill both of them. Because uh, Zura did disappoint me as well. Take Stellar Bay. No! Lick our wounds. Eventually, figure out how the hell we're going to spread the word to the rest of the colony. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Take Stellar Bay. Fucking minus 100. Lick our wounds. So, yeah, I mean... And, and you're just, again, you're focusing on spreading the message. Terrible. The Iconoclast may take your orders, but most of them believe in him and his teachings. So you're just... Okay. What I should do, what I want to do... And there's no way to exit this conversation. <laughs> I can, like, can I just do some drugs while we're talking? I need to be more perceptive. <laughs> Fuck. The Iconoclast might, may take your orders, but most of them believe in him and his teachings. Sometimes, you gotta do what's best for someone, even if they think you're wrong, even if it's painful. When we're in Stellar Bay, they'll come around. What? You're actually hoping for him to come around? Fair enough. I'm going to confront him. Can I count on your support? I, 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 I cannot, I cannot support you. Yeah, let's go talk to him. Okay. Deep breaths. Shit. This is what's best, Sora. Time to save Monarch. I I, I kind of hope there were more options, and I, I I might try it. I'm trying to play this very very. Uh, what I would do, I know this is a game, but what I would do, what I what I might might want to do is discredit both leaders, and try to integrate the rest of the. So I basically wanna just uh. Destroy the iconoclasts and integrate the rest of the people back into uh, Monarch. What well, is the planet name? How's it? Stellar Bay. Stellar Bay. <sighs> this Captain, is be you must be back with the access codes to our new ship. Graham, we need to talk. We have work to do. This isn't the time for one of our spats. We aren't here to argue, we are here to act. You need to stand down, Graham. Stand down? I'm afraid I don't understand, Captain. You're running the Iconoclast into the ground. And I don't believe it'll get better after we take Stellar Bay. It needs to be like a third person. The troops take orders from me already. And you've... You've brought me as far as you can down the eternal path. It's time to step down. The troops... Listen to you. This isn't an army. They aren't soldiers. They're believers. Followers. They pick up a gun because you tell them to, not because they want to. And you, Captain, after all you've done for me, for us, you throw behind this mutinous blasphemer? I, I, I don't like either of you. You're about to take over a planet. You can't handle that responsibility. Let's go with the second one. I, 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 I kind of got to the point that I would like... I prefer more conversation options. Because none of these are really... Uh, good. But this is a kind of neutral. I can and shall. All I've done, I've done for my people. And look at where that path has led me. I built this movement from the ground up. I've brought freedom to Monarch, and all these years later, we're still free. 
I joined because I believed that you were in it for the Iconoclasts. That you wanted nothing more than to bring freedom to Halcyon. That you were selfless. But... I know the truth now, Grim. I know what happened in Amber Heights. You didn't start this movement because you wanted to save us. You wanted to save yourself. No. Uh, I don't think that's true either. <laughs> oh, man. Those deaths are in your hands, Graham. No amount of meditating will clean them. But Graham, you must see, but don't accept, that you are not suited to free the people. Well, we already had the stock, I guess. But the point is, he is corrupted by the system too. And he made maybe other crimes. You don't seek enlightenment, you just feel guilty. I don't I don't really see that. Those deaths are in your hand, Graham. No amount of meditating will clean them. I've spent years atoning for my sins. I've studied, meditated, taught. I built the iconoclasts so that any man could cast away his past for a fresh start. That's your answer, Graham? You needed a fresh start? After all those innocent lives? I'm sorry. I believed in you once. I did. But it's over. Stand down. I won't. What happened back then was a mistake, and the colony has moved on. This is my movement. These are my people. If you want to lead them, you'll have to kill me. Not much of a choice here, Zora. Yeah, I... I had hoped. Please, don't make me do this, Graham. If this is where my path ends, I accept it. But as long as I draw breath, I will not abandon them. Yeah, he's a fanatic. So be it. Incoming! Oh shit! Back Fuck you! Pulling guns! Well, I guess I can give it to Graham. Give the module to Zora. All oh, the guards are not here. The board rec reputation increased. The boards are now agreeable. What do you say, Zora? Well, Captain, here we are. Killed a lot of people in the name of the Iconoclasts, and it never feels right. But this time, it's especially wrong. You've got the void held me. I'll never remember what that thing is called. The device from the ship. Do you have it? Hold on, I was thinking you and Sanjar could join forces. Actually, I don't agree with that. I'll be back. What if I kill you? Do I have a right to kill her just because? Uh... She's outspokenly violent. Like, she's just very eager to be violent. <sighs> okay. Let me pick her pockets. What if you uh, were to fall to the ground? What would happen? Oh, here we go. The problem with this option... I think this is gonna happen every time. Is that if you attack her... They are always gonna retaliate. Shit, reload. Oh no. I don't think there's a... <sighs> yeah, that, that's what I'm afraid of. What if I mind control you?
Wait, it didn't attack me. They didn't attack me. Hey. Good luck in all that you do. Hey, thanks again for helping out. What could I do you for? Uh, I don't know. I should go. What about Huxley? Maybe we're gonna talk to Huxley. I should have made a proper save before. Huxley? Ah, oh, hello! Good to see you again. There's not much options here. I can only give it to Sanjar, and I could have had the option of uniting the Iconoclast with, uh... Fuck. I'm, I'm not... I'm not sure what should I do. So I can s sneak attack her. Going silent. Okay, let's have a chat with her. Guess I'm in charge now. You got the. Hold on, I was thinking of you and Sanjar could join forces. I've thought about it, but I think we're too far gone. Pulling Carlotta's support was crossing a line. Oh, we can use perception. Intelligence and perception are the main conversation skills. Neither of you can afford this fight. Monarch is going to devour the victor. Your people have suffered long enough. You could put a stop to that. I like that line. I don't like the persuasion line. What was what was it you said? Sometimes the best option is the most painful one. Neither of you can afford this fight. Monarch is going to devour the victor. I think that's the truest. Yeah, well, we'll die try. Fuck. Sound like Graham. Throwing lives at a problem. We've lost a hell of a lot to this fight. Graham would never agree to this, but I'm starting to realize how often he led us astray. All right. If he's willing to talk, I'll give him a chance. I, I feel like if I kill Zora, then the iconoclasts that could be multiple options. Uh but this might be the safest option. Because the Iconoclast may want to return, but this is my time, this is my chance to actually just just unite them uh, with Stellar Bay. And this is probably the best option. And she's not gonna be in charge. And she might be an okay second in command. What I get from her is that she seems to be uh, May, maybe somewhat easy to influence and also cares about people, but also uh, kind of pushes for the violent uh, solutions, which I, I really don't like. But perhaps, perhaps uh, she's all talk. Probably not. <laughs> but she seems more sensible. <laughs> I don't know. But I don't think assassinate. If I assassinate her, most likely what will happen is that the iconic class will just stay here and die. Maybe start uh, pillaging. There's no one else to take leadership. What what I would like, what I would like as an option is Zora and Graham dies, leadership uh, annihilated, and the iconic class uh, join Stal Bay. But maybe that's a little unfair too. But I, I, I think I think that's fair enough. Okay, like Graham Graham was a bad guy, I guess. Can I really assassinate Zora for wanting to attack Stella Bay? I just don't want her in charge. I guess I, I guess we don't have to assassinate her. And this is one of the ways to make sure that she's not in charge. So I would not like to leave her here. For sure. 
She just needs to not be in charge and not have a reason to attack Stellar Bay. Well, I, I really shouldn't try to kill, kill away my problems. It's, it's gonna be tough and... Uh, you know, like, but when, like, uh, countries try to negotiate, you, you see, like, the, you know, the other countries, like, yeah, the, the leaders are idiots and bloodthirsty and, you know, and, <laughs> and, you know, and there's history of war, whatnot, but they still find common ground or just, they just agree that, you know, not killing each other is kind of nice, especially that they have a common enemy. Or at least they, well, they're gonna need all the all the help they can get, uh, trying to make a monarch shrine uh, shine as a independent colony. I've already spoken to him. He's agreed to meet. Well then, I've got to prepare a few just in case measures. But when you're ready, let's meet at the old OSI church outside Stellar Bay. I don't like the sound of that. Oversee the negotiation. Uh <laughs> Okay. I'll do that. So we're going to check it out. <laughs> and I I don't even have to tell to Sanjar or Sanjar have to agree to it. Well, I'll, after so she agreed to it. He just automatically agreed to the location, I guess. Okay, MSI commanders. Oh, this is gonna be a, a, a situation where we're gonna talk, I suspect. Uh, where's my heavy armor? Okay, how am I? Kills. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll do one drink first. Body attributes. I don't know, I, I need mind attributes here. What? Lying? Oh yeah, I need personality attributes. Right. Let's see. Oh yeah. Good persuasion and lying. Let's go. Hey, thanks for coming. I'm already hammered. I wish I'd had more time to prepare a proper analysis on the costs and benefits of your proposed union, but uh, I suppose we'll have to improvise. Oh man, I think this is uh the the solution to go for. I feel kind of good about this, even though it's a difficult one, and I almost uh, fucked it up. Sanjar, you have got to scale it back. Oh, that's the spirit. Gotta admit, I really thought I was walking into a trap here. I'm ready. If it were, I wouldn't be standing here all vulnerable like. Sanjar, Stellar Bay's got food and walls. And my people need both. If you'll have us, we're willing to share the space. Do you have any idea what that would cost? Why, drawing up the budget alone is going to take weeks. <laughs> Sanja. <laughs> oh, man. You don't have weeks, Sanja. Zuri is ready to storm the city right now. That's not good. It, this really shouldn't happen uh, because, uh, because of threats. What if the Iconoclast just supported your supply lines? Ooh. That's good, you know? Helping each other. If you're going to draw up a budget, I'd appreciate a paycheck. No, no, no. What if your iconoclast supported your supply lines? Not good enough. I need to move a fair amount of my people into the city. We need shelter, Captain. Persuasion. I'm not saying live outside. Just help out in the wilderness once in a while. I don't know. You definitely have to do that. Suppose some of our healthier folk could offer aid. Some of us need to stay in the city proper, though. Well, I'll be damned. If you two can work together, maybe there's some hope for this place after all. 
Truly a compromise? I'm not sure I'd ever have heard as much from Graham. <laughs> Graham was a murderous fiend. And I'd be shocked if you didn't already know that. Careful, Zora. Graham was Sanjar friend. No, no, no. I think he would like to hear that. Something tells me Sanjar didn't know. I don't think Sanjar would have hurt anyone if he knew he didn't agree to it. Something tells me Sanjar didn't know. This feels like one of those times when everyone at headquarters but <laughs> me is laughing at something. But you two aren't laughing. Amber Heights, you hallhead. Ten years ago, Graham had all those people killed. What? That's not possible. Even for him, that's going too far. It is. We found correspondence between him and the pirates. Wasn't it convenient how they all died just after blocking your proposal? What? I certainly didn't think so at the time, but now that you mention it... I had no idea, I swear! Look, we were both fed up with corporate leadership, but I, I never guessed he'd do something like that! I think he's being truthful, Captain. I feel it in my gut. Kind of nauseous, but ticklish. You can't take bureaucrats at their word. You back someone into a corner like this, and they'll say anything to get out of it. I think Sanjar is okay. Take it back, Anad Zora. You're here for your people, not the past. I... Okay. Okay. You're right. Sorry. It'll take me a while to get over losing Graham. You know, I felt the same way years ago, when he first left. You know, there was something magnetic about him that lets you ignore the things you didn't want to see. But surely you know what that's like. Yeah, I... I do. Okay. If you're willing to house and supply some of us, I'll have our more capable soldiers help out. No, I'll get out. No, no, no. Don't, don't need to. No need to do that. Uh, no need to build it to this agreement. Glad to hear it. I'm so hopeful about this alliance. As am I. Oh, I can feel my blood pressure lowering already. Thanks for coming out, Sanjar. I, uh... Guess I'll see you at Stellar Bay. Gotta be honest, Captain. Never thought I'd see the day. You've done a good thing for Monarch here. Well, good but difficult. <sighs> okay, wow, that's so far away. Find Captain Irion at Scylla. Speak with Phineas. We gotta go to Phineas. We gotta go to Lilia on the ground baker. We gotta go to Scylla, Edgewater, uh, that's Byzantium, and more Scylla. So we are kind of like. Have to Scylla now. Alright. Seems like we just gotta go back to the ship. That's it. Uh, the ship is uh, over there. Against all odds, the unreliable takes flight. It would take us forever to get to the ship now. But yeah, I guess we could just order the ship somewhere else. Anyway guys, this is a good time to take a break. So thanks for watching and see you next time.